Hey the Barriers, hope you're doing well. Today we are going to be playing some Xerath support. We're playing with a Jin, so we've got a double poke, and we're up against a Kaiser Jenna. So poke's usually pretty good into, into Jenna. She does, Jenna's usually taken to do anti-engage, but enemy team picked early, so I could counter. Easy peasy. And hey there. Hey ye. Almost three years amused, can you believe it? Can I believe it? 30 months? I know, right? It's kind of crazy for Thank you very much supporting me for this amount of time. You're crazy. Thank you very much. Hope you're well. It's been a little while since I played Zeref. It's one of the champions I do recommend on my tier list that you play. I think he's sitting around tier 2 right now. I made a tier list very recently on this patch. Um, he's definitely good in the lower ELOs. Um, from unranked to plat. Now is he good in diamond? Let's find out. I think we should be fine. I think a lot of it is going to be actually landing the skill shots. Uh, as the game goes on though, mid game might be quite difficult as they do have a couple of ways to kind of engage. Like Claire the ulti could get popped early. You got uh, Kane also able to zip in and jump onto my face, which I'm not looking forward to. Okay, I disagree that that hit, but okay. I haven't had landed my W yet. I'm surprised we're actually struggling here on getting level 2. Okay, she's using her Q a lot. And I'm missing everything a lot. Hey, I can't land skill shots. Honestly, even if we haven't actually landed a lot, because this Kaiser's already uh, kind of getting poked down quite significantly already. It's got to also hit minions as much as possible once my passive is ready, just to get that man mana back. Otherwise, it will go out of mana. Nice, a double Q hit. And a double W hit? Is it my lucky day? Yeah, the W slow into... Oh. Jin W. It sets up Jin W quite nicely. This Kaiser's already limping around. She's got no health potion. What is Xerath passive? Um, whenever you auto attack a minion, you get mana, you get double back for auto attacking a champion. Guys, has got no HP. Jarvan's coming down, looking to try and make some magic happen, but they might have recalled in time. Yeah, I don't think. Get another first strike off and another mana flow band. That's nice. We kind of knocked them away. It's a shame we aren't able to kill them, but they're they're suffering quite a lot down here now. Two, two, you can definitely get this plate and then three. recall. Okay. Really, really, really good start. 34 to 19 CS plus a turret play, plus the XP that they had to miss from the Jarvan appearing down bot side. So, just need to kind of keep this pressure up. Um, Spy controlled. I've got three boots at 12 minutes, which might be kind of greedy, um, but will save us on gold in the long run. But that does expose us to a cane gank. But I will say, it is easier playing against a cane on this side of the map as opposed to being on the other side because of this giant wall. Cane can just fly through this wall and gank us, like if we push out even remotely. Whereas here we're a little bit safer. So it's much nicer to be playing against the cane on this side. That's a nice. Uh that was a nice double Q. I need some starting to land my skill shots again now. Root. 
It's done. Got Jarvan trying to come down again. Jenna's Q is not ready. She missed it as well. I stunned her on the gin trap. Oh, it wasn't quite enough damage. So whenever an enemy champion dies, they drop a gin trap. So close. You might as well stick around just push in this wave. Because that means I will complete the first part of my support quest, which means wards. Which means vision. Six minutes, 49 seconds on completion on that, which is pretty nice. Yeah, really, really, really good start to the laney phase for us. Plus 20 CS. Uh, Jin got that kill. We're doing a really good job, really. Just the amount of dam raw damage that I'm outputting here is pretty high. Uh, top lane is struggling for our team, though. Kane's got a kill, so I'm going to have to respect him when he's on bot side of the map. Otherwise, you know, especially if I don't have flash, that's going to be the, the big one. Is the trap, Jin trap thing always been a thing? Yeah. Whenever Jin kill I can't remember if it's a takedown or if it's a killing blow but they always kind of detonate underneath themselves after a couple of seconds I think it might be the passive on E someone might want to check that but nice Oh, Kane's right here. I missed my stun. Oh wow, he's really low here already. Uh, awkward. Uh, double awkward. Got my ulti coming up soon. <sighs> if I land that E, she dies. I thought she'd move more to the left, but she kind of just stood still. <sighs> if I just stayed calm there, I think I got a could have got three kills and then that bot end situation. Yeah, I wasn't expecting the Kaiser just to kind of stand still there on that last or two. Okay, my bad. I think I could have, I should have killed the Kaiser there. I landed all my ulti hits there though, which is quite nice. Jin doesn't have a way to chase this Kaiser down. My ult is obviously in cooldown unless I just used it. Hey Corvus. And hey Kali, welcome back. To the streams, that is. Surprised the Kai's are still sticking around. Like we can push in. These ways pretty quickly and effectively. I'm doing quite a lot of damage now. We are going to be setting ourselves up though to being ganked a lot more by the Zoe and the Kane though. Stun lands. Oh yeah, this is what I mean. And Zoe is on her way down too. Yeah, as I said it, we kinda 
Overextended still for it. I think we kind of got a bit excited there because that Jenna took a lot of damage there. Mm, got my ulti, but I'm not going to be in ult range for like another 10 seconds. We did manage to get the tier 1 mid turret though. So that was a nice punishment for them sending four people down bot side. I am in ult range now. And I think I missed everything. Which I'm not too happy about. Did they give, um... I think they gave Zeraf another ulti charge, you know? I wasn't aware of that. I'm not sure when that came in through. That must have been a recent change. Not from this patch, but uh, Zeraf used to have three ult charges, not four. Level with one point. Yeah, we're going to have to be pretty careful about just general overstaying. It was the pr last patch before. Yeah, okay. Kind of didn't really register that. That's probably why Zerath. I was wondering why Zerath's win rate did climb up a little bit. Kind of just lobbing stuff out. I'm a bit paranoid about the Kane situation here. Kane's top right now. Maybe we can clear out that ward. We should better get this turret. Still a polite attached to this. Oh yeah, you do extra damage as well if your ulti charge lands on the same target. I didn't know this. It's kind of interesting that they buffed his ulti that much, actually. Don't have my ulti ready yet. Turret. Yeah, it's bad. Oh, that hit. No. Maybe I can get away still. Zoe's going to use those flashes, though. I think I just about survived here temporarily. Mm, not anymore. Janet dies, but I think Zoe's got the Syndra hit. Oh yeah, everyone's dead. Crap. Yeah, they reacted fast. Yeah, there's just a lot of summoners lying on the ground there for Zoe to pick up. We need to play into mid now. Um, yeah, it seems to be going like up and down in ways we seem to be doing all right, and then we do a little bit bad, and then we do all right again. It's all over the place. China took a bit of damage there. coming up again already soon. Biggest problem now on their team is, well, I guess, the Kane and the Zoe. Let's make sure I'm in that bush. I'm not sure where some of their team is. We should be looking to do Herald thing. 
Not sure I like the Jin being top there by himself like that. There's a dragon up in 15 seconds. We should probably rotate for that. Jin's still top and there's a dragon spawning. We might just have to give this one up then. Clyde's on his way down. Jin's too late to this. I've got ulti. Ah. Wait, what? Oh, Sindri got it. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah, timed that wrong. I thought the projectile were coming a little bit slower than that. Hey, okay, nice free stopwatch out. Stunned the cane here, but I'm definitely dead. Right? Right, summon heal OP. Got no one to go to here. There's a ward right here. Kane's looking to try and steal this. I'm pretty sure Kane's looking for me as well. So I'll attack him. I can't reach. Okay, turret shot him. Okay. One dragon apiece. Yeah, tricky game. Very tricky game with the assassins that they put on their team, but I think we have enough to potentially deal with it though, but we kind of need to be the first strike onto them. Okay, that kind of looked like that went through me. Did that connect? No. Jarvan nearly has ulti. Claire just popped his ult. There's a fight going to them bot side. Looks like we just won that one though. I'm in. I'm dead. We got caught up by Kane. This is way too deep. We are in no man's land here. It's nice that Nar won the one, one fight down bot side, but Syndra died here in the mid. I died. Kane's going to get another kill here too, I think. Hmm. I mean, he still might go for it. Yep. Eight kills now on Kane. That was kind of crazy deep though. It's a Baron in 50 seconds. Yeah, it's gonna be very, very difficult for me to handle the cane with the edge of night can't really crowd control him initially since just looking for a play but i think it's too deep again apparently not i mean I don't know. I mean, okay, that worked, but Kane could have easily been anywhere around there and she could have easily died for that. I don't like that play, but I like that it worked out. Let's clear the ulti. There's a Kane flying through here very shortly and I'm in a really bad position to handle this. That Herald just kind of wasted. I was trying to be a distraction down bot side, but at the moment no one on the enemy team is kind of answering it. Luckily we have good wave clear mid, so we can just protect the turret quite easily here. Hmm. 
Very strange game from both bot lanes' perspective. With 3-7, they're 3-8. It's very... feels very bad to be a bot laner right now. Or support. <clears throat> Most of the fun's been going into the uh, other lanes this game. I think my damage is going to start falling off soon as well if I don't get like level 11 soon. Maybe a kill would be nice. The level 13 cane. Alright, popped off his edge of night. He is trolling. Can we do Baron or anything off this? Uh, Jen is like half HP. He's stunned, the cloud though. Jen a flash. Wow. Okay. I mean, I don't want to like boost my own ego too much, but that was because of me. <laughs> that Kane just trying to be cocky there. Expecting me to miss my skill shots on him. And then we made a couple of another nice uh, ability lands. Jenna and Zoe were running away from ulti. Nice stun on Clyde as well. Yeah, that's a game changer, that one. And as soon as Kane died, that was their strongest player, so they just kind of completely panicked after that. They did manage to get the dragon though. We're a little bit too slow for that. Oh, Enzo took a lot of damage there too. Oh, she killed Zoe as well? Nice. Oh my god, that. Oh no, he dodged at the last second. Okay, their team is falling apart super quick. I mean, there's a chance we could end. Nah has TP. Why? Okay. I think we could just end there, but fine. Nah, I don't have enough damage to kill these in a consider like that quickly. Take the thirty gold and run away. Are you kidding me? Go away. I need a tiny bit of gold. Java minds me taking Grooks. And 63 gold. I can't even really wait in base for this. This just kind of sucks. Like, all the fighting just keeps breaking out. It's constant fight, 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 fight. Sindra is dead. I'm, I don't like my positioning here at all. Yeah. Ah, I can't dodge everything. Nah, as soon as Sindra died, like, I shouldn't have even been pathing down the bot side. At that point, I should just play defense because I mean, we shouldn't be teleport using our teleports to try and save her as well. I think everyone just tried to save Zindra, but she. I don't know. She just misplayed them. I don't think they'll get too much from that. They'll get gold and XP, obviously, but. It's nothing too bad. 
like they didn't get dragon. There's like no Baron, so could have been a lot worse though. I think Sindra just needs to respect that a little bit more. Being by herself. Okay, I'm just forcing myself to be grouping up with this Sindra because she's um, kind of overextending again. Oh no. Jesus, man. <laughs> like, are these plays like really necessary? Sunder Kane? Uh, is I'm in trouble? Got the stun in there. Just run away if you can, Jen, or something. I don't know, dude. <laughs> the little Janna Zephyr tap there. And Kane's now back up to full HP. Yeah, it doesn't. Why are we doing this now? Back to back, just kind of just speed running it down bot lane. I had the power to surrender then. I don't know what's happened to our team. Sindra's just let the power get to her head a little bit too much or something? I don't, I don't understand. It's pretty concerning when our most fed player is now acting a bit unhinged. Like this TP play, I think it's pretty bad too, but whatever. Like, she's probably gonna end up dying to Kane or something up there. If he's not on the dragon, there is. Okay, well apparently this unhingedness is maybe working out, and I'm not quite sure. Claire being dead means that we've got to make a move and burn him. I got the edge of night off there. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I did. I guess I just die here. Um. Yeah, they're not gonna be able to catch the cane like that. Kaiser's a free pick there, though. I guess I go start watch now. Nice rate. Okay. Right, now we can get back on the Baron. What? <laughs> huh? We do need to be careful this game though. In three minutes they do have Hex Tech Soul and Hex Tech Soul's pretty damn good. Mm, not too much for me to do. I'll just wait. We just jump. I might just initiate with my ulti here shortly. Try and do some poke damage. Don't know why this ping's going down to dragon. It's oh, okay. No way. I think I'd buy Kaiser's rooted there though. She's also got the minion wave. Okay, we still have minions. Okay. Jeez. 
much I've missed this knockout. To be fair, it's like by one pixel, his Q just didn't quite land on his flag. There's a big wave bot right now. They could probably just use the spot wave. Kane's about to spawn, and I'm pretty sure most of these guys will die. Just get out, guys. Oh no. How does this game go like this? It was like really messy at the start, the mid game we were doing really really well and it's just gone back to mess. Try and get some cheeky wards down before they kind of close in on the location. I get rid of that too, that should make a big difference. Kane's top side. Syndra doesn't have Sonya's off cooldown yet. Oh, that's a Kaizen. That's a Kled. I'm in a really bad position here. I'll just hang back a little bit and wave clear. There's a dragon in 40 seconds. So he's going back to kind of answer. Interrupted Jenna's recall. Should be GG. Popped the edge of night. <laughs> All right. Yeah, sometimes I just need to listen to my own callouts. Like saying like the Zoe and they could be pretty far overextended. Zoe and Kane could easily come bot five seconds later. The then bot line. Um Yeah, I think part of that is just because I'm just I haven't played much Seraph in a very long time, honestly. Uh I think we had some nice plays though. Sushima didn't get the triple kill under the turret. That would have been really cool. Um Apart from that, I think I need to just stop helping people that are overextending and dying. I'm getting into a bad habit recently, I've noticed in my games, where it's just people kind of just... I keep helping people that are going to die, and I know they're going to die, but I'm helping them anyway, but I should just like not join in, so at least I'm not giving away 450 gold every time I die. I need to do better at just letting people die, I think, but... Um... Yeah, not the prettiest KDA in the world, but I don't feel like I played as bad as my KDA. I think overall, I don't think either bot lane were too happy with that game. It was definitely a, definitely a jungle mid lane plus our top lane kind of game. Like both bot lanes kind of got stuff going, but not really at the same time. That's just kind of, yeah. It was a game. It was a game, for sure.